So that intro is a new thing. Um, yeah, I actually was. I kind of forgot about that intro being added after this game was released. Uh, excuse me, let me move some stuff here real quick. Make, get me a little more comfortable on here. But I'd say we go ahead and get the show on the road. Uh, some maybe well, we'll wait a little bit. See if anyone will come in. You don't have to. I mean, you don't have to. Uh, but we're going to be looking at some pure solar and the great architects. I wanted to make this sort of a casual thing. Uh, not even... This isn't too serious, I hope. Um, but we're going to go through this game kind of casually. I guess I'll explain a little bit what this game is. This is uh, Pure Solar and the Great Architects. It's a game made by Watermelon uh, from 2010. Uh, this game was originally a project across the from a couple people across the world. It was a homebrew Sega Genesis game. Um, now, what happened is that they came together, made a company, uh, released the game on Genesis, uh, and then did an HD version of the game a few years later. Um, I played this game on the Genesis, not when it came out, but I think I got like the second run or the third run. I'm not sure which run I exactly I got. It may have been the third run of uh, Genesis Carts, but I did play this game on the Genesis first time. Um, and I liked it at that point. It was a, a little more contemplative, and this game is a very weird, very strange setup but we're gonna go ahead and make this game entertaining for poncho smith i do want to make sure real quick how does everything sound uh, i haven't streamed in um a long time does everything sound all right sound wise for the game and then my voice just to make sure um okay if everything's sounding good that sounds great hey poncho and zellas so, we're going to have some fun. Um, I did go ahead and experiment a little bit uh, with this version. I haven't played it. I haven't. I have not played the HD version yet, so this is that's the other reason I want to kind of dig into this. Um, now, I want to go ahead and just... I do want to be full front open about this. I did kickstart this game. I did kickstart this game way back when. Yes, I have not played it yet. <laughs> I understand that. Um, I just haven't had the chance. I do have the Dreamcast version. I am not playing that one, though. I'm playing the Steam release because I got it much later for really cheap. And I said, why not? Uh, we're going to start a new, fi new file here, though. Uh, that was my test. Let's do that. And... Rave. Save. No. Nave. Save. Yeah, but yes, it, this is absolutely collusion. Uh, I, I am just promoting this game. Now, I'll be the first to say that this game has problems. This game has a lot of them. And we're about to break this game also in half. And it's going to be kind of great. I just have to remember how to do everything. So this game starts off with our main character's family going through a bit of a tough time. Uh, the father of this family, Rudy, is having some sickness issues. He's trying to get up, but he's not. Just notice his underwear looks like, uh, his jammies look like, uh, um, what's his name? Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. I just realized that. No, the doctor hasn't. But he'll be in Verhancha for a couple of weeks. Oh well. I guess we'll have to worry about that sometime. So, yeah. So, actually, this is going to be kind of interesting, Poncho. Uh, the... This game is a lot about the adults. 
of this world. You, you, you'll, if we get any further than, than what we're doing, you'll see. The adultitis. You'll see. So, Halston's wanting to take action by going into the cave to get some herbs, but the everyone's telling him that the caves are way too dangerous. And the village guards won't enter the cave. We'll find out why. We'll explore around the first town for a little bit. Alright. We'll go ahead and leave. Alright, and then we meet our first character... Elena. Oh, yeah, she's great. Now, yeah, this art's definitely different. The backgrounds are different. The sprites look about the same as they did in the Genesis, though maybe a little bit cleaner. But it still looks all, it still looks pretty good. On there, I think even as a Genesis game, it looks pretty gorgeous. Now the music is nothing. The music isn't new. This music, for the most part, is the same as it was in the Genesis version. If you have the disc inside of the uh, Sega CD disc for it, that all still sounds the same. But anyway, we, as the kids of all the useless adults in the town, are going to go to the caves. Good dagger, bow and arrows. I I grabbed the I grabbed the image for the disc from the from Watermelon's website uh, when they had it up for a little bit, and I did go ahead and download it to it. it. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good time. There are songs I like better on the Genesis sound on with the uh, BCM, and then there's the FM soundtrack. There's stuff I like better with just the cartridge. Um, one of them being the final boss theme. I think the final boss theme is better on the Genesis. Anyway, we'll go grab weapons. Get this dagger. It's a puny dagger, but it can wage wars. Yep, chores always come before world domination. It's down for myself a little. There we go. Alright, so two things we need to do. Oh yeah, I guess that would be a case too. I, I did, I do have a Sega CD so I can do stuff like that. <laughs> we might go to the library. There's a little tutorial inside the library of how to play this game, but I, I can do it. I know how to do it. Oh yeah, the captain's taking care of his business. We'll, we'll go see the captain. We want to go here. This game has an auto turning, so whenever you hit a corner, it'll automatically turn corners for you, which is sometimes convenient, but not always. Talk to this guy. He has nothing to say. Not yet, at least. Here we go. Elena's room. The bow. Alright, are those actually equipped? No, they aren't. Oh, hey, now he's in the way. That's right, who did build your pants? Mr. Mayor. Actually, funny thing about that, I started playing uh, Stardew Valley this week on a Switch, which has been the worst use of my time, by the way. Don't ever play that because you will be addicted, like I am. 
but uh, I got to the quest where the mayor is looking for his pants. I did find his pants, but they're in a place I can't get to. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, there's a little... I remember from the uh, Genesis game, there's a little bit of lacking in story with Alana. I, I see what they were going for here with it, but it does doesn't really turn into anything from what I understand of that. I don't know if the HD version changes this at all, though. Oh, yeah, and he's been dying for a week. Some of the writing, like I said, doesn't really have a payoff, but it's, it's okay. Some of it's actually kind of funny. Did get a chuckle out of me the first time. Oh, yeah. Ancient languages. Let's... A couple more things we've got to do before we leave. We might explore around town as well, too. We do have to do some shopping. Because I'm going to show y'all the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I noticed that. Okay, now we got to go pick up our third-party member. Because... Gotta do that. We gotta get Edisot. Finished it. Oh no. What's he finishing? There he is. I actually like Edisot quite a bit. There's, there's a lot going for his character. So, a little disappointing from this. We'll, we'll get again. We'll get to these caves that the game is building up to. Um, but uh, they're actually not as complicated as they uh, they're made out to be. He does have a cute robot, and I like cute robots. That's a cute robot. All right. and excuse me as well, too. I have a little bit of a cold today. It's... We'll see how it works. We'll see how well I do here, but I'm not really coughing too much. If I do have to cough, I'll try to mute. so far. Wow, I'm surprised. I still ha I have, again, I haven't streamed in a very, very long time. Alright. Let's pick up the robot. <laughs> Press the Lhasa button to show the Lhasa menu. Right, this game is a radar. <laughs> that is definitely added from the Genesis game. And these are two actual save points. The Genesis version saved differently. Every time you entered a new screen, the, sa the game saved automatically. Well, not exactly, no. Sorry, no, that's not right. If you saved, it would save the moment you went. If you hit save on a screen, it saves the moment you entered the screen. So, like, if you continued on the screen and saved again, it would not count anything you did. It's kind of a weird weird save system. This might work better, although it means you can't save anywhere like you could in the Genesis ver version. So, that's a, main, that's a really big difference. Anyway, oh, we have to go this way. 
we have some items to get and some side quests to start. Oh, the library. Is this the library? No, it's the inn. We do not want to check in. In fact, we are going to look for chests, look for items, and do some shopping. So, when I say shopping, it means we got to buy some some uh, some excess some equipment. And you probably think like armor, right? Because that's you know more important for defense. Uh, this game's stats kind of work weird. It's hard to explain right away, but you'll see once we do it. This is the this is the library. Basically, later in the game, we'll find books to teach magic to certain characters. Uh, one example is the uh, gra is a grab spell. Talking about fight strategy, we'll get to that. We'll, I'll ex explain that. And we know gathering, uh, this game's main battle mechanic, but we'll get to that when we actually get to battle. So, what we want to do is go to this shop. We're gonna go to buy. So we've got iron armor, iron mail, but what we're actually looking for are these. 50% less damage from earth attacks. We wanna buy three of these. And we can actually ignore this. I'll explain why. Oh, yes. So, this game has been building up this place, the caves, and it's going to be a great pay. It's going to be a wonderful payoff. So wonderful. You're going to love it. <laughs> First off, we'll speak to the town. This is the captain. So, wait, did the kids turn 18? Or was it 21? <laughs> That's right, he has a dream. Uh, we can buy some herbs, actually, just in case something happens. Alright. I don't expect the character to be knocked out. Alright. So, we're in the world map now. Isn't that great? A couple places we can go. We have to go to the Rage of Forest, but we're not going to go there quite yet. We're going to go to Headquarters first. This is the Guard's Headquarters. Because there's a chest here, and we can start a side quest. A small little one. It's nothing too big, but we're going to the same place anyway. Iron armor. In fact, we're going to equip that iron armor onto a character. Eh, I'll just give the Hulsman. That sounds good. Go in here. Look around. Oh, look, nothing in here. Oh, well, I guess we can just leave. <laughs> just looking around. You come into my home, my house, my home, see Brad's just chilling, and you're like, oh, it's cool, man, we're just hanging. You decided to just break into my house because you... What? You thought, no, it's because I'm a... It's because I'm the main character. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> I, I kind of like this exchange. <laughs> this is actually a pretty neat exchange. I don't know why. I'm just, I, I get a kick out of it. Well, 
Nutbreaker grabs the reward and dunks in the floor. Oh, oh, by the way, we're gonna do a ball count for this. Every time the game mentions balls of any kind, we'll do a count. That's two so far. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, uh, that, uh, Halston had another one too. There's one especially that I absolutely love. The, just that drop, just the drop of it. I think it's just funny. <laughs> anyway, so we have to go into the forest and find his chest that he left, or that his associate left locked, but he doesn't know what it is. And we'll be up if, if we're not square, then we're opposite of a trunk opposite of square will be a triangle. And it's bad because it's sharp and pointy. So we have that key, and we'll go get his treasure. So let's go ahead and do that. So, a couple other small mini-games here. There's a rabbit catching mini-game here, and there's a watermelon mini-game here too. We'll probably play that one to get some watermelons, because they give gather. That I'll probably go do that a little bit later. We don't have to do it now. There's a couple small areas in here too, but we're gonna go ahead and just go straight to the Rasha Forest. All right. Hey, that orange chest right there? That's the uh, chest we're looking for for that quest. So, Rasha Forest isn't the hardest area, but if you don't know how this game works, it's going to be kind of, it might be kind of difficult. I'll explain what's going on here, though. So, obviously a battle system, basic here, but you notice that Divide 2, whenever they took damage, that's because of the feathers. Uh, those feathers do half of earth damage, and everything in this forest and the cave does earth damage. Let me repeat that. They do. Now, there are four other items in the game that ha no, maybe three. There are four items total that handle having damage from the elements. And they are the most useful equipment in the game. So let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and take this down. Uh, buy three feathers, maybe four. There's, I think there's another one in the, in the forest somewhere, if you look around, but you can obviously just buy them. So let's go ahead and take this battle out. We're just going to do regular attacks here. Um, I don't need to play around with Gather too much, but we, we will play around with Gather later on. I'll show how that system works. Oh, this is as far as you've gotten, Zelaz. I, I can definitely understand it because... This is kind of... It can be a hard area if you don't have things equipped. I can definitely see it. That should be good. All right, that's a good encounter. This is a, another heavier encounter, but we'll we'll come back through. Okay. They guts to come here. <laughs> There's one specific area in the game that gets really, really frustrating and almost, like, it, it is borderline just, just one of the most absolute slogs, but we'll, we'll get to, we'll, that's a little bit later in the game, that's uh, Miho, if I remember, Miho's the name, if I remember right, that area is long and arduous. It is a trek. To be fair, I think the game picks up after that area. Uh, from, like, the game's pretty good until that area, and then after that area, it's fine again. Oops, I'm on the mic. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. So we got the vaccine. That's good. Uh, that's for the hunter. Get some gold coins. If we go out that area, we'll actually leave the forest. We don't want to do that right now. We want to come back through. Oh, that's an easy fight. Oh, a couple things going on here, too. Uh, flying enemies can only be hit by projectiles, so Alana can o is the only one that can hit that uh, little Medusa. I think that's what those are called, if I remember right. 
and then um, Halston and Edisot can hit the enemies on the ground. Um, Edisot can actually hit enemies in the air as well with stones. Uh, he can do that as well. Uh, there's actually more chests in here, I think. But I get the level two. I think I'm a little comfortable with that. That should do it. Now, Halston is going to be doing a little bit less damage here. Uh, somewhat, only because he is earth-based, and the enemies here are earth-based. There's a little bit of that in this. Uh, but it's okay. He's still, he's still knocking slimes out at once, so it's all good. Go ahead and take out with a fire stab. But every element, every enemy in the game has some sort of element tied to it, whether it be uh, the, the four are uh, earth, fire, water, and thunder, I think is the other one, but I can't remember, or wind, it might be wind. I think it's wind. Oh, we learned avocado blast, which admittedly is kind of useless, but every, anyway, any... Every enemy attack has some sort of element base to it. And it's kind of knowing what those are is an easy way to do it. We'll come back through here. But... That's right. I also have to kind of remember this game as well. I did a little test playthrough before this and got through the first area, no problem. So, hopefully this turns out alright. Alright. Yeah. Those avocados. Avocado blasts. <laughs> well. This game is all about millennials correcting the uh, mistakes of their, uh... Of their parents. But that's beside the point. <laughs> I suppose it's fitting. as well. Glass of water is great. Mm. I don't even need to do it. Now, one thing I might play with in this playthrough is I might change the music up a couple times, because you can switch the music um, at any time from the this version to its uh no, to its Genesis you know, sound counterpart. And there's some tracks I actually like it better for, including some of the battle themes. You know, I probably should have attacked the stone. That's okay. Let's do that. There we go. Nope, we're gonna exit the forest. Come back through, we'll just do this. <laughs> Alright. I think there is another... Yeah, there is another chest over here. And I think that's a feather. So I think there's a feather in this forest, an extra one. Uh, which we'll need later because this game has other party members and we'll need Earth again. As a, uh, as a protection. Oh no, it's an iron sword. Hmm. I was wrong. Oh well. Uh, looks like it's only for Halston. Okay. I'll go ahead and equip that. He'll do a little more damage. Okay, he doesn't get any bonuses from that, so we'll probably sell that dagger off, because this game does have limited inventory. 
So we want to keep changing out the inventory as we go, and we want to keep holding on to those special items that we need, like I said. Now, I know another thing this HD version added was the ability to change the encounter rate. Uh, we could actually set the encounter rate to nothing, if you absolutely want to. Um, and there's an occasion you can. You actually... It is possible to beat this game without fight without fighting any encounters except for the ones that are required. So basically, the boss battles. Um, I when I was looking through the uh, the achievements of Pure Solar on Steam, I saw there's an achievement for that. It's called that's Tim's way. That's I, I think that's what it's called, but it's reference to the play to that specific playthrough of the game someone did. It's a, it's a neat playthrough. It takes a lot of doing, but um, you can beat the game with minimal level, with the minimum level that you earn in the game from just the boss battles. Uh, especially, in, it's mostly using those items that I'm t I'm talking about. Um, like I said this game's actually weirdly balanced. Like it is, and it's also not. It is kind of nifty. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what it's about. So we're now in the caves. And actually, if you don't mind, we'll listen to this a little bit. Okay, that's neat, right? Uh, we're gonna change this music. Oh, first off, here's the encounter rate. That's better. Oh, that's nice. I there's something about the there's something about that track. That's just kind of nice. And change the battle music too, to its other one. So a lot of the enemies in here are the same enemies that we saw outside. So nothing new, strategy-wise here. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That was a critical. That's good. But, um, yeah, anyway, if you want to change the random encounter rate at all, you can do that. You can even up, you can even up the encounter rate. Oh, yeah, switching the soundtracks is great, too. It's having all those options in this. This is a, again, um, the Genesis version did have the, cha have the option to switch soundtracks as well. So you can switch to whatever you want. We can, even, again, change the encounter rates to even times eight. Um, I swear that's probably taken straight from uh, uh, Bravely Default. Auto run into the Pathfinder again. That's the, uh, I think that's the map up there. I'm not quite sure. Radar beep. Turn that. I want that off. And also being able to change uh, change things like resolution, you know, change things like resolution and, you know, what assets the game is using. It's also all pretty neat. Yeah, oh, the game is at least acknowledging that this cave is not that hard at all. <laughs> of course, the reason why they're told it's a danger is uh, for something else. Oh gosh, Dragon's Trap has a single button press you can do, and I think that's kind of great. Um, it's not my favorite version of Dragon's Trap, but it's so good. And, and being able to change it to Wonder Girl, personally, I think is just kind of incredible. I, I like that a lot. But yeah, Dragon's Trap does something kind of similar. Go ahead and head down here a little more. The chest right there. I kind of want it. Excuse me for not running. It running in this game is kind of it's good. Like you know, it definitely goes faster. But I kind of like this. I'm a kind of a slow paced person sometimes. You know, I'm gonna go back through here. 
we'll not really have a chance to explore these caves again, so we want to go for anything in here. Um, if there is, and hey. Chests. Hmm. I don't care too much. Everything we can get, at least. Aqua arrow and fire stab. We should be good. Level two is absolutely fine to fight. Fine to fight the first boss. Um, I'm not worried about level grinding at, for the most part at all. Um, if I remember right, when I beat this game, the main character was at level 22. So I think if we're even there, we're going to be fine. It's kind of a low level. I think I've seen higher from that, but I was able to do it at that point. Although I will admit, I I, I do rem I remember the final boss of this game being real, kind of a tough one. Even with the trick I'm I was talking about and what item to use. All right, so we have that green chili that'll give gather, and I haven't really used gather yet. Uh, that's because we're about. I, I haven't really had a chance. Battle's been pretty easy. But we definitely want to use Gather in this bo in this battle coming up. In fact, that boss is right in front of us. It's not the frogs. Although the frogs are pretty cute. And the boss is some freaky slime thing. Talks. Well, that's okay. Crime slab thing. Crime, slime crab thing, whatever. Okay, other reason I switched it. Well, next boss will do the other soundtrack, but holy crap, I love this Genesis version of the soundtrack. All right, so, couple things. We are going to learn about gathering. So, down below the main character's facial portrait, uh, face portraits there, they have a small bar. Uh, you'll see that fill up once we use gather. Now, gathering is going to add different effects and allow spells to be cast. Uh, some spells require characters to have a certain amount of gather to cast them. Um, but gather can be built up across multiple turns. So I'm gonna. So I've just gathered for with all three characters. So they have a little bit. Of, they have one point of gather. You can have up to five points of gather on a character. So we're gonna, I'm gonna actually gather again with Holston. I'm going to keep Elena to go ahead and go on the offensive here. And I really just want to focus on the boss here. The other slimes are pretty minuscule. They'll either run away or they'll, uh, they'll do a small attack, which won't do too much to us since we have this uh, feathers equipped. But I'm going to let Edisot gather as well. You'll see. What will happen here with this? So whenever you're gathered, you also do extra attack damage. So it was like one uh, times 1.5 with one point of gather. So you can imagine what two points of gather do, or even five points of gather. That's what we're going to build up to. Halston's going to gather again. Now Alna's going to attack, and I'm going to have Edisod attack. If I need a heal, I can throw up. I can. I have some herb to heal. Yeah. Now, the fun part. I'm going to have host an attack. I'm going to attack as well, but Edisot is going to send his gather to Holston this turn. So now Holston has five gather. So you, you can send your gather to characters. Um, and if, say, for example, you can also have get character send gather. That was times four with a five. So, Holston's still gathered at 5 right now, so we can use that to our advantage. Uh, that gather will go down after this turn. 
back down to four. From there, I, I could have sworn the Genesis version uh, knocked your gather down right after the turn, but I'm actually I can't quite rem remember. I'm gonna throw a heal on his way. Yeah, I'm gonna throw her a heal. Or I can just kill the boss right there. <laughs> we can do that too. But um, say for example, if a character requires Gather to use a spell, they can actually ask for Gather in the same turn. So a character will send Gather to uh, to the other to that character who requested it. it. It's a pretty neat system for it. It does allow for some of those a little more weird strategies. Especially when we get characters who have more physical attack power, or characters with more powerful spells. There's a few other characters in this game. We'll do that. Anyway, we, we killed that boss pretty pretty well. Alright. We are actually going to go back and save real quick. I am going to heal... Uh, Elena, real quick. Okay, we're still at level two. Alright. Alright. We'll do that. We'll go around this weird tower like structure. We got something growing up there, and hey, a potion. And we've made it to the garden. So yes, this this game has just thrown us a crazy garden. Big nice area. This area looks nice anyway, in the in the Genesis version. But yeah, this. The HD version does make it prettier. This song's pretty good in both in both versions. is to me knowing where the story goes this area has a little bit more re relevance I'll admit on here I won't say anything right now but it has a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the PCM for this game's uh, actual soundtrack So good news, we found the herbs. where exactly this turns on here. I, if y'all played a JRPG G, though, you can guess where this might go. <laughs> on there. Take bets in the chat. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Will Hostin's father live? Now that we have the herb. Um, what other crazy thing might happen uh, with the discovery of this crazy garden? Oh, 
Oh, and there's a journal. <laughs> so. So we found this journal talking about some crazy ancient some crazy race ancient race called the Goemon. <clears throat> oh man. Don't talk to me about gardens right now in military colleges. And sorceresses. I, I have battle scars. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I don't think Final Fantasy VIII is that bad so far, but it's it's definitely it definitely has some problems, and they're not gameplay related. They're sto it's story related for me. Specifically, the writing, because I think the story is actually kind of all right. Anywho. The good news is that we actually don't have to go through that dungeon again. That's great. Thank you, Pure Solar. The robot will help us. Because, you know, robots, they... Robots are the true heroes of the world. Disobedient, wonderful idiot of a son. So, we kind of just did the back of the box quote uh, story with this. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's actually the first dun- so all that's kind of the first dungeon of this game. We're not done with this area yet, though. We've got a couple- we got a couple other things going on. There's another smaller area to look at, but we'll, we'll come back through all of that. We're, we'll, we're gonna keep going for a little longer on that, because I've only been going for like 50 minutes so far. That was good. Now we have a little intro to do, um, and I don't think I can skip this, unfortunately. But uh, that's kind of the opening part of this game. Take what you will. Take what you will from that. I, I know Zealous, you said you hadn't played. You you got it. Yeah, as far as about the forest itself, it's again the feathers are what makes the areas great. Yes, game over. Yes, we won. Yes, but. Quite. That garden brought up some questions, though. Uh, what exactly is that journal? What what the heck is a Goemon? And go. I, I know what a Goemon is, but I don't know what a Goemon is. <laughs> but there's a little more. It's gonna happen. And what about that plague? What about what about that uh, that sickness that Rudy had? Where did that come from? That might be important or not. I don't know. <laughs> um, Goemon is an underrated Konami protagonist, but unfortunately, uh, we will probably never see Goemon in any way, shape, or form again. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Gambari Goemon. So, 
remember what they show in this intro. Let's see if they show any of the other characters. Now, I'll fully admit, we haven't even run into my favorite character in the game yet. <laughs> or I'm there. Um, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to them when we when we see them. Yeah, there's actually quite th this project started as a small game and kind of built to something else I, I will admit that with this game's problems and everything I, I I'm still inspired by this game a little bit He's in horizontal for weeks. <laughs> Alright, let's go stay out of trouble. Which means we're gonna get into so much trouble. Uh, in fact, we can talk to the townspeople. I think some of them are gonna change what they said. We didn't talk to this person. That's the rabbit catching mini game. We should do those real quick. Hmm. That's right. We we sh we probably saved his life. Yeah, that's from what I understand. This was kind of a forum thing they worked on. From that, I, I believe this game is called a Tavern RPG. Was its original name from there? But it's still kind of it's still kind of a nice story. It's a nice story, development wise. talk to. Alright. Well, the main thing is that we have to go and get to Edisot's lab for some reason. So, now that these kids have gone to the caves and done like the work of the guards to get to uh, go into things and take care of monsters, it turns out these caves weren't actually as dangerous. And they're gonna find the. They're probably gonna find the garden. Oops. And hey, oh yeah, Rudy worked with it, worked with uh, Alma's father. That's why they know each other. So going back to the caves? Not really. We're not gonna actually go into the caves again. Sorry. Those his actual pants? Those are his pants? Okay. Mm. Okay, well, that's alright. I'll have to keep that in mind. Remember that character sprite. <laughs> alright. Well, the first thing we're going to do is a new thing that was in the HD... It's not in the Genesis version. Is we're going to play a mini game. First, we'll talk to this person. Okay, they don't want to talk. Some nice chickens, though. Can you hear? Okay. No. Got watermelons. So, if you talk to this guy, he's like, you know, want to help me out with the watermelons, you know. 
Let's see how many watermelons you can collect in five minutes. If it's good enough, I'll got something you might like to be to eat one of the watermelons. The Genesis game, after here, go, the guy goes into a tirade about kids wanting things for free and like he doesn't let you play the mini game because the mini game isn't there. But in this version, I was really surprised. They put the mini game in. They put the mini game in. <laughs> So yeah, this is a this is a new thing. There's a couple of mini games in the uh, Genesis version, but uh, yeah, it's a couple of nope, anything too. And yeah, these are actually multiplayer, uh, from what I understand. So you can get multiple people to do it. But the reason why we're doing that. We got a watermelon and the cartridge so we can play that from the uh, the game uh, from the title screen it's dumb though is that you have to have that item in an inventory in one of the save slots to do to play that mini game there are multiple cartridges so you want to have as many as possible anyway now we're in the, another part of the forest uh, this chest is right here gold bar and that's just money there we go I know cold alone hungry and crippled you're not crippled oh now you're calling me a liar what cruel children you are here I want a little help catching some rabbits Alright, so we gotta hunt as many rabbits as possible. This was in the Genesis version. You have to get like all the rabbits. It's like, what the heck? We're not, we're not gonna spend too much time with this, don't worry. Get back here. How many I get? Oh, wait. Oh. That's okay. I'll just take your chest over here and we'll leave. It's a potion. All right. So we are going back into this forest. If I remember right... Oh, that's right. We have to take Losa to go back into the cave. And ambushed. That's okay. Uh-oh. Hilson's asleep. I guess he's not going to be able to, to stab things. Oh, well. I could use a caffeine pill to wake him up, but I... It's okay. XP, see when they would get to level three. Wait a minute. There's a chest over there. There's the feather I was looking for. Oh, 
only couple problems with this game too is that the, the random encounters aren't really that varied. Um, they're, they're still needed, of course, to you know gain levels if you want if you're doing that. Like I said, you don't really have to gain levels unless you really want to. But again, just recommended to go through and do all that. And in this version, you can tone down that that random encounter rate. Okay. Everything in the air. What the heck? Let's show off Avocado Blast. Use it on that one. It's not gonna do much, but you know. It's an avocado. It's quite literally dropping an avocado on an enemy. I mean, it's better than Earth 1, which is what I'm using for my RPG, but that's beside the point. <laughs> but, uh, now nah, we won't use it too much. There might be a case where we might use it for something, but I am not too concerned. Hmm. You know what? I imagine cool. Uh, so Doritos flavors making good magic attacks. Um, nacho cheese probably isn't really one, but Cool Ranch is definitely an ice base attack. Uh oh. Let's see. I, I don't know any other, you know, I don't know any other flavors of Doritos other than Nacho Cheese and Cool Ranch off the top of my head. Shoot. Like, Doritos are not the chip that I eat if I do eat chips. Oh no. Oh no, we have to catch the robot. Robot friend, where are you going? Please don't. Come back. Come back, robot friend. No! Robot friend! Hmm. I think about it. Hmm. Subway does have that avocado. Hmm. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Robot friend, don't go through the fence. They didn't want us to go through the fence. It was forbidden or something. I don't know. Oh no, now we're at the altar. Okay, so we caught the robot. Uh, let's see. I want to... I think get that chest now. There we go. Gold coins, good. That's money. I think it's a certain amount of money. It doesn't tell... I, I think the manual says something about it. Like, what the point values are for gold coins versus a gold bar. That tries this way. There's robot buddy. Hey, that looks like a thing. Huh. That statue's face looks like the fountains. I wonder if they're related.
Was that pun necessary? I think, oh my gosh. That makes way too much sense. Okay, sorry, that, that, that line sort of felt something on me. It's okay, I'll explain. If we get to that point in the game, I'll explain later. Oh. That's not good. Same music as the garden. So we've wound up in another weird place. I don't think there are encounters in here, but I could be wrong. There's a bug. Hmm. It's weird looking. Ponytail, dead. It's the same, same words. I don't know. Flight to the eastern lands, but looks like I'll meet my end here. It's one long, exceptionally foul mouth cursed. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not reading the dialogue because you're watching the stream or or not. Y you can read it. <laughs> if you absolutely want to. Um, there I might read a little bit of the dialogue, but uh, y'all y'all know what's going on here. I might be going a little fast, though, and I do apologize for that. I, I just read really quickly. I read things like in... Like the whole line. Okay, that's good. Alright, good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm not trying to speed... Through this. this is this ain't this is not a speed run at all of Pure Solar. Well, it looks like the guards found out what was in the caves.
Ah, okay. That's probably good. <laughs> On there. Well, Rudy's angry. <laughs> okay, we don't want to know what Rudy's doing at his age. Trust me, we don't want to know. He does have his pants on now. You're absolutely right. He does. Yeah, that's what this game goes story-wise. <laughs> All right. Let's go talk to everybody here before we do anything else. Not that way. This way. Oh, you have no idea the trouble we're about to get into. Back to his business now. Let's talk to this guy. Nah, he still doesn't care. That's probably okay. He doesn't have to. Okay, she says the same thing. <laughs> Don't worry too much. We're going to get Alana back pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> go find out where she went. I know where she went, but I guess we'll play along. Honestly, I'm more... Building up money right now to get later equipment is what we want to do. So um, I think we're good equipment-wise. For now, for the next town, the next area that has encounters is not Earth-based, so those feathers aren't going to do us any good. 
Uh, there's another item that will, but we can't buy that one yet, so it's going to be a little tougher. Uh, he's back to his thing. I will go ahead, I think, and... Mm. Nah, I think I'm good for now. No, first off, we should probably return this guy's thing. Now that I remember. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. We'll just keep his vaccine. I may have forgotten to do that. That may have been timed, but I don't really care. <laughs> he, he He's good. <laughs> the vaccine's actually pr it's a pretty useful uh, accessory. So now we're over here, and we should be able to cross this bridge now. Don't fall into the sea, kid. That's right. Oh, that's right. There was some kind of plague. He's like, okay, plague's over. You can, you can cross now. But it'll take us to our second area of the game, which, of course is desert themed. All right, so there's a couple different areas in this that we'll go through. Um, this canyon is the next dungeon, but we're not going there yet. There's a camp though. If I remember right. There's something we can start here. Don't spill hot cocoa in the tent. That's that, that's really good advice. Like, oh, the camel couple on the uh, on the screen. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. It's a pretty cute sprite. start the quest here later. Yeah, that camel. That's right. <laughs> Can't go to them, though. Oh, well. We'll go to Oasis. We'll get into that building later. Get some berries. a nice touch. I I'd like to avoid carnivores. Oh, hey. Guess who we found. All we know is that ancient those ancients must have gone north from you know he you know they went east from the dis depiction in the uh, in that strange temple area. So that's why we're over here in the desert. 
Okay, well, thanks. Oh, no, this is the end. Alright, so if I remember... Well, let's see. Well, why would I use it on camels? There's no reason to use it on camels. Yeah, that's a little too much for grapes. <laughs> for three. <laughs> Armor's the main thing I'm gonna want here because it, like I said, there is the equipment thing again, but the, uh, there is another piece for fire, but we won't get that yet, and we'll only get one of them for this next area, so we, this area is gonna be one that we're gonna have to cross. Ah, eh, a little, a little harder. But we'll see. Since for men in a hot climate, and then. That's four. Uh, I shouldn't put that. Oops. It's alright. Enough, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. Warranty end when the seal is broken. I meant to equip that. Gold coins. That's the main stuff in this area. Ha ha. <laughs> oh no. It's the bath. Okay. I guess we'll leave. Right. Just looking for any other chest. There's the safe point over there. We'll go hit that. Um, and that, I'd say it's been about... It's been about an hour and a half already. And we've already hit the... Second... Major area in the game. Alright, we may want to take this with us. I'll think about it. <laughs> but we've already hit about the second main area of the game here. Um, I think it might be good to almost call it here for right now. Uh, we... Eh, just as a little casual playthrough. I... I don't really have really a schedule to keep up with it. Uh... If we do, I do at least maybe Friday nights. I might be all right, or uh, or maybe sometime during the week. I might just say, "Hey, I might just stream if I really get the chance." It just depends on how my schedule is. Um, this is actually my spring break coming up for school, so I can I can even do something over the spring break, maybe a couple more times doing this game. I don't I don't think that's a problem here, uh, but yeah, I think it'll be all right to. Um, play a little bit more pure solar just a little bit at a time uh this game is actually not too long it's like even a cut few sessions we'll probably get pretty far into the game at least 
like, oh, hey, this is, this is a good, this is a good clue. Like, hey, there is a Goemon tribe somewhere. We should uh, find them. But I think we'll go ahead and call it here uh, for Pure Solar. Um, like I said, this is a really weird game. Um, if y'all have the game, you can play along if you want to, like up to this point. Uh, but honestly, or you, just watch, you can just watch me too from there and just kind of see what this game is about. And it's kind of new to me as well, some of the HD stuff uh, from there. I knew about some of it, but not all of it. So I think it's going to be a pretty fun, fun time if we continue this. And hopefully we do, because I, I do think the end game stuff of this game is really good. Um, especially like the final dungeon and the final boss, I think is really nice. Like some really good stuff. Uh, and some other central, uh, center of the game stuff too is pretty nice, from what I remember. But, uh, for those who watch, was watching, uh, Zelos and Opancho, you were here too. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and anybody else who watches this later on, because I'll probably just upload this to YouTube. And, um, we'll call this like a, maybe a small playthrough as well. Um, I'll let you know if I'm streaming again, just randomly. But, thank you very much. Um, and y'all have a good go ahead and have a good night. Make one more save.